Whilst you're asking the question, discussing, telling stories, whilst you move. So you're holding hands like that. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, just like you move around the space and you keep talking and talking and talking. So you get in touch with one another and you also get to know them more. Um, trying and trying to talk to other people. Oh yeah. As well. um, while, while whilst touching the backs, trying to have a conversation with the other person, like that. but at the same time you can have a chat with the other partners, with the other couples. So it's actually the experience of uh, being with someone, on top of someone on Tinder, and then at the same time you keep chatting and chatting and chat chatting, mm -hmm. like going like that and going like that. Uh, yeah, so and actually we collecting matches, yeah. as many matches. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like a social media. No, no we're not. We're not no, using no, no, any no, no, phones. No, no. Oh no, no, uh, oh, no, no. Okay. We're just trying to make the relation to things. And try to keep you busy with chatting with one person and then with another person mm. and then with another person. And then yeah, you try to pick another one person and you try to attract another person. You're just trying to throw as many as you want to. So do you want to do something else with this task? To make something different, or is that is that the only thing you want to do with? Uh, well, we thought about the task last night, and it was just like, oh, what can we do with that? And so we just structured them, and I thought of games, and I thought of things like that. But uh, yeah, it can go somewhere else, I guess. Yeah, we're not like really strict to staying with that. It's just an idea. Mm -hmm. And if anyone, I, I, I think if anyone wants to lead those tasks and expand them from there, yeah. they can also do something. Did you see them within a certain setting, like in a place, for example, a cafe or a school or a... I will have an empty space so that people can see it. What, we, what do you want them to feel or, or think, if anything? Can I ask a question? Does it have to be an audience? I mean, with the participants... Oh, okay, sorry, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I mean the people doing the tasks. Mm -hmm. I think it's about the experience and through doing the tasks questioning. So you want them to challenge what they already know? Yeah. Or challenge their ideas? Yeah. yeah. So is this, could you go to this as a group or does everyone need to be strangers. by themselves? Strangers. Strangers. Everyone yeah. needs to be strangers. Because well, one of the things we want to touch is basically making people really awkward with each other. Yeah, it sounds really hard, I think. But and that's yeah. one of the aims, basically, but I being think strangers who... The yeah. achievement of that is being more comfortable after that. After yeah, so we're thing. trying to create, to make people experience something that they wouldn't experience through the online like, interaction, basically. Mm -hmm. that, makes, that makes sense. Yeah, so we're pushing comfort levels. to your questions and to as be well as well. part of your conversation you're having with me but I'll be keep busy doing that and after that I want people that are doing that to try and balance themselves so that I can keep them busy whilst you're talking to me and I have to answer to your questions and be there to answer what you're talking about but I can't because I'm multitasking and it has to do a lot with um, what people nowadays do uh, when they're busy on their phones or they're busy on their thoughts or they're busy with the disruptions they have in their everyday life and so the people um, are actually people not, not, not that pre present mm -hmm. um, so yeah then, um, then it can expand into more multitasking tasks and, yeah. and trying try still to be in the conversation with the other person so it's an experience of understanding how actually it is to be uh, postponed by the other person or not. <laughs> I can see like it could be interesting to play, to have a playful element of this. Yeah. People, t I mean it's a game and if someone is asking you questions and you've got yeah. um, like possibility to play around with what this how they relate to this person who's yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the part where you say you, you're just 
speaking out your judgments on someone. I, I don't know, I'm a little bit worried about that in how it will make the other person feel and what, you know, how much damage you can like potentially do there and then does that then make, it becomes a really subjective experience for them and they can't but sort I, of enjoy the, the whole thing. I, again, I think that if you're in front of a PC and the person posing questions or mm. answering the, your question is, is, is doing like 100 other things and she or he doesn't know that she's not receiving 100% attention, it's different than if I'm sitting at my PC and you're interacting with me mm -hmm. and you're not taking care, 100%, you're not pouring yourself 100%. Yeah. And it's different if we are sitting together at a table and you're like every five minutes like you're trying to, you know, to watch the text that you have yeah. received. It's really irritating. While if you're sitting at a desk, doesn't matter what they're liking, sorry, fucking sell you, fucking selling you. That doesn't matter, you know, if they're like you're like eating bullshit from the network, uh -huh. from the you know, from the social network. Uh -huh. The thing is that everybody here is not seeking um, probably what they are trying to say. Probably I'm just mm -hmm. assuming uh, the true nature of things. So yeah. we're like eating bullshit 24 hours a day, and nobody's <laughs> questioning like they are doing what we are actually eating, um, thinking, watching, mm -hmm. whatever. So I think the energy is brilliant. But it is more... Uh, no, no, it's, it's, no, there's no but. It's brilliant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How fit is it? <laughs> and that's, it's really, it's, yeah, that's the thing. Sorry. Uh, it's okay, no, I just, I just think you do need to be careful of, of, that of people. Task, yeah, that yeah. Task. And to so how are you going to care for people afterwards? How are you going to support them? Mm -hmm. This is actually another point of how the social media and this uh, society made us uh, feel because Basically before you having you that, actually I could tell you in front of your face some things that I cannot do it right now because I've learned to do that differently. Yeah. So that's why we try to... And, and I, I get the point yeah, that you're making, but I'm thinking like in a practical situation between this. How can the interaction with other people has changed? Has changed? And why? And all of this. So have a conversation to be under the same umbrella all together. So task number two is going in partners and uh, write down a description of what you see and guess a bit uh, what is the other person, what is he doing, um, some parts of his personality and uh, try to guess a bit from his, his outer um, appearance, uh, a description of this person. Uh, swap, uh, do the same thing and then um, one person introduce, uh, introduces himself um, trying to say to the other person, oh, you got that right, you got that uh, correct or wrong, and I'm this person, and I do that, and I do that, and I think I am. So now it's when we make a narrative just by looking at the behavior or the outer yeah. characteristics and everything. We had a really good debate earlier, actually, how it can turn into really offensive or not. Mm. Yeah. This task, which is somehow one of the issues we wanted to raise, basically. The idea came from the online dating apps that you stand there, you're just seeing pictures or just really short description, you've just been like, really judge people no, around. Yeah, no, yes, no, yes. But uh, yeah, my, my response to the debate um, earlier on, it was like, uh, isn't this what people do? They tell you their opinion, they judge you, they tell you, oh, you're like that, or you're not like that, and you're a nice person, or whatever. And it's just normal to do that. And maybe you're on job seekers allowance, yeah, and you've got point. about six kids. Yeah, if I'm thinking that's a good all of that, point. how do I... I think it's just a um, simple description of, like, um, maybe you're a bunker, you do that and that, so how does the social media aspect fit into an interaction like that? Because I, like those types of interactions of jumping to conclusions when you first see someone happen, even without social media. Mm. So uh, I guess like, how, what do you think is distinct about social media that makes those interactions especially interesting? Because um, 
in a way, social media makes that a very universal. So it makes it easier to make those judgments. But in real life, you don't. It, it, it's not. It's not easy to do that to other people. But you I, can. I easy. suppose it, in real life, you don't kind of go, oh, swipe right or whatever. Yeah. There's no kind of like, oh, I'll give you three stars, two stars. There's yeah. Not <laughs> kind of like, it's more like. That's maybe exists, but it's less formulated, I suppose. Yeah. Is that, I suppose, it's, but are you looking to kind of look at those forms, those kind of like um, structures that, that social media kind of generates? Are you looking to explore those in the forms of these kind of mm. interactions? Um, I mean, we're, star taking, rating or we're taking some ideas out of that and making these uh, experiments and, and tasks are not going to be really specific with how the structure it's of the question. Um, but how, how does um, this, this kind of asking, this kind of thing here where I, I've got someone in front of me and I'm going to describe them very, very, like um, all the the things that I've just kind of going, okay, well, he's got these trainers on, blah, blah, blah. I think he's probably a kind of arty type and he's probably done design at school or something like that. He probably is university educated. Okay, so what do I do with that now? Like, because if this was a social media thing, I would kind of go, oh, he's there. And then I've got the forms that this then has the next step, which is like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that's not oh, that's what you mean. I do. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. like, I suppose that sometimes or, or like judgment, or, like or or great great shoes, or I don't know. Or it's, it's like it's, it's emoticon. One things. thing that I was thinking of that you could use is like if one of the bad behaviors that things like Tinder or Twitter encourages is not having very in depth conversations with someone and only looking at the surface. There's the way that you can use some structures of like tinder to make but it longer so you could say twitter yeah so like yeah. one exercise is you could say like two participants have to be in a space for a minute one person's not talking and the other person just has to start talking and based off of if the non-speaking person is swiping left or right it's like i like this behavior i don't like this behavior yeah, and it's good. a way of like just it's not like because you can't, in actual Tinder, it'd be like, it's not swipe or left. If it's a real life interaction, you leave the room, but you're stuck in the room. <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to swipe left if what you're saying is like not vibing with me. Um, I'm going to keep swiping left until you say something that like does work. And then I'm going to start swiping right. So for the two people who are in that interaction, the person who's getting swiped is starting to get this thing where it's like, oh, I can't really judge the person based off of this perception. There are different things that I have to look for. And the, for the person who's swiping, it's also an interesting way to see like how is it that other people are perceiving me and how do they think that I want to be interacted with.